We're joined now by Sir Graham Watson. He's the former leader of the European Liberals. Sir Graham, thank you very much for being with us. Obviously, tragic events which have happened here today in Brussels. My first question to you, really, when you first heard the news, what went through your mind? Well, I'll be honest, my very first thought was the safety of my wife, who had flown out of Brussels airport, as it happens, half an hour before the bombs went off. But of course it was that this is a major attack on not only the Belgian state, but on the European institutions. This has happened within spitting distance of NATO headquarters, of the European Commission and the European Parliament, and in the case of the bomb on the underground, right next to one of the Belgian government ministries. Now, when you were an MEP, you were involved in drafting uh, justice legislation. Um, what should Europe do to tackle this? Because I guess the big question is, is how do we balance human rights and tackling terrorism. That's always the big question, isn't it? It is, and I think it is an important one to get that balance right. When I was the chairman of the Justice and Home Affairs Committee in the European Parliament and I took through a report on what we should be doing against terrorism at the time of the 9-11 attacks, we were urging governments to get their act together in terms of sharing intelligence information. A lot of progress has been made in that, but you'd be surprised at how many governments jealously guard such information. We've a lot, we could do a lot more in terms of sharing intelligence, getting our police forces and our judiciaries working together and trying that way to protect our citizens rather better. I'm just wondering if that goes far enough though. I mean, some might argue that we do need to give up some of our freedoms if we're to ever tackle this issue. Um, if you go to airports in the United States, you'll notice that the security is much tougher than it is in Europe. If you get on a train in Israel, you have to go through a scanner and there's a whole uh, uh, series of security measures that you have to go through to before you get before you get on the train. So I'm just wondering, perhaps that is the answer, that we might need to strike the balance slightly differently. Well, I think if you look at what the governments have been discussing in the Council of Ministers, what the European Parliament is currently considering on the border checks, which will come into effect uh, around the Schengen zone, you will see a lot of that happening. There are many more automatic border controls than ever there were before. But we have to keep a balance here, and that's the balance between the right to free movement of individuals, the right to live in a free society, and giving people maximum protection against terror. Graham Watson, thank you very much for joining us.